Hi guys, uh, so for this video I'm using a yarn in size 4 medium and a crochet hook in size 5 millimeters. So now, so I'll start by making a slip knot and uh, I'll leave this chain a bit more loose. Um, so now I will chain 3. I mean four, yeah, chain four because since we're gonna work on this last loop, this first chain that we have left loose, we're gonna have to chain four. Now right there through that fourth chain from the hook, I'll make 18 double crochet. This three chain already counts as one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, we need four more. <laughs> 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So now that we have made 18 double crochet, to finish row one, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row one. And now for row two, I will chain three. Then through that same double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through this next chain, I'll make uh, two double crochet through that same chain. Through the next chain, I'll make two double crochet through that same chain. Through the next chain, I'll make two double crochet through that same chain. So we repeat this throughout row 2. Now to finish row 2, right here to this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 2. Now for row 3, I'll chain 4. Through this next chain, I'll make uh, 1 double crochet. Through this next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Then I'll chain one. Then through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through this next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Then through this next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Then through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row 3. Now to finish row 3, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 3. Now for row 4, I'll chain 3. Then right here through this one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain 1, then through that same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Now through this next double crochet chain, now through these next two double crochet chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Through this next one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, then through that same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Through these next two chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Through this next one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet through that one chain loop. I'll chain one, then through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Now through these next two double crochet chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. So I'll repeat this throughout row four. So now to finish row four, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. 
So this completes row four. Now for row five. I'll chain three. Now right here through this one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Chain one, then through that same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. So now I'll skip this next double crochet chain and through a second double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Again, through this next one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Now through this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. I'll chain one, then through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. I'll skip this next double crochet chain, and through these next two double crochet chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Again, through this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. I'll chain one, then through the same one chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row five. Now to finish row five, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row five. Now for row six, right here on this first double crochet chain, I'll make it slip stitch and then I will chain three. Now through this next one chain loop I'll make two double crochet. Chain one, then through that same one chain loop I'll make two double crochet. Now I'll skip this next double crochet chain and through this second double crochet chain I'll make one front post double crochet. Through this next one chain loop I'll make two double crochet, chain one, then through that same one chain loop I'll make two double crochet. Now I'll skip this next double crochet chain and through a second double crochet chain I'll make one front post double crochet. Through this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Chain one, then through that same one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Again, I'll skip this first double crochet chain and through a second double crochet chain, I'll make uh, one front post double crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row six. So now to finish row six, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row six. So it measures around eight and a half inches so far. Um, now for row seven, we'll repeat row six in a way, but just uh, we'll work in our existing chain. So through this front post double crochet, I'll make a slip stitch. Then I'll chain three, and this is row seven. Now right here through this next one chain loop, I'll make uh, two double crochet. Chain one, then through that same one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Now through this next front post double crochet chain, I'll make one front post double crochet. Through this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Chain one, then through the same one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. I'll make one front post double crochet right here through this next front post double crochet. Through this next one chain loop, I'll make uh, two double crochet. Chain one, then through the same one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. 
around this next front post double crochet I'll make one front post double crochet so we repeat this um, so we repeat this throughout row 7 and then we repeat row 7 well I don't know for how many rows so I'll, this is the first time I'm making this hat so I'll come back in a few rows and tell you for how long you should repeat it but let me just uh, place a stitch marker here uh, I have a stitch marker somewhere but I have to get up and get it and I'm too lazy to do it so let's just use a contrast yarn let's go back to basics so let's mark 7th row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So yeah, we repeat this until we have fourteen rows in total. Now, of course, the hat looks very wide, but uh, don't get discouraged because this is exactly what we wanted for this pattern. Let's so see. Um, so it measures uh, eight inches by now and uh, how many rows did I say we have? I'm getting old, my memory is going bad one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen yes, fourteen rows we have fourteen rows so now I'm gonna use yarn in different color and I changed the background so I can use uh, black yarn so I will just change one to finish row 14 and, and I'll cut this yarn now for row 15 I'll use yarn in different color I don't know why I just uh, like to blend colors uh, not too much but just a little so I don't know it just it just looks better to me for row 15 I'll use yarn in different color and then right here through this uh, one chain loop I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through I will chain one now right there through that same one chain loop I will make uh, four uh, half double crochet so one two three and four now, through this next one chain loop, I'll make four half double crochet. Actually, this won't work. Now, right here through this one chain loop, now right here through this next front post double crochet, I'll make one half double crochet. Through this next one chain loop, I'll make four half double crochet. Through his next half double crochet, through his next uh, front post double crochet, I'll make one half double crochet. Through his next one chain loop, I'll make four half double crochet. Through his next half, through his next front post double crochet, I'll make one half double crochet. Through this next one chain loop, I'll make four half double crochet. Through this next front post double crochet, I'll make one half double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row 15. And now to finish row 15, right here through this first half double crochet chain. I'll make a slip stitch I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn so this completes row 15 I'll go back to using yarn in color A So for row 16, right there through that same chain, 
I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll chain one. Now through that same chain I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next two chains, through the next two chains, I'll make one half double crochet through each chain. Through the next three chains, I will decrease. So one, two, and three. Through the next two chains, I'll make one half double crochet through each chain. Through the next three chains, I'll decrease. So one, two, and three. Through the next two chains, I'll make one half double crochet through each chain. And through the next three chains I will decrease. So one, two, and three. So I'll repeat this throughout row 16. So now as we are at the end of row 16, right here through this first half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 16. So. Let me see. I'm going to make a few more rows of uh, half double crochets. So now for row 17, I will chain one. Then through that same chain, I'll make one half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. Through the next chain, one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one half double crochet through each chain um, throughout row 17. So we have decreased plenty by now. We are not going to decrease anymore. I like how the hat fits on my head. Um, and we'll see how it will turn out after a few rows of half double crochets. Yeah, I won't be decreasing anymore. So yeah, we'll just continue making um, one half double crochet through each chain for row 17. Then when we reach the end of row 17, right here through this first half double crochet chain, we will uh, join with a slip stitch. And then we would repeat row 17 for a few more rows. I don't know how many rows we'll need, but um, I will see. I'll come back and show you how many rows I used. But so far we have 17 rows. Kind of want uh, the headband area to kind of stick out a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So I repeated row 17 for 21 rows. And for the last row I used yarn in black color. And I know, I know, I know it won't be visible. But look how pretty it looks though. Oh, I love mixing black yarn with different uh, uh, contrast colors. Let me see if I can turn this light on, even though I'm making this video during the day. It seems that it's not very bright, because it's morning, so... Well, I think it's going, it might rain too, so... I'm not sure. But, for the last row, I also use yarn in black color. Mm. You know what? Let me use a yarn needle. Finish this hat differently. Okay, so let's see. Before we join, I'll cut this yarn. You can just join with the slip stitch, but I kind of like this method because it's not visible at all where you joined in. So right here through this, uh, <laughs> it's not even visible. <laughs> oh my God. So anyways, right here <laughs> through this, Oh my god, can't even see stitches. So through his first stitch, 
insert my needle now remember oh 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 that's good that's good almost almost visible so here on the right side where we have this uh, uh, chain of half double crochet chain right there to the center I insert my needle if the yarn was in a brighter color this would be visible I actually used this method uh, before quite a few times see but he was in different hats and all right so now I would just uh, lose these ends in kind of secure I'll just secure this uh, end and weave it in through these other chains and there you go we just trim this excess yarn and guys I've never made this hat before it actually really straight from the head <laughs> straight from my head and it really likes how I really like how it looks I really really do so let's measure this so it's ten and a half inches long the widest part here well It says ten and a half, but you know it's way more when you stretch it. And this is, will be very good because it will give you that slouch effect. And right here, where this, uh, where we have this headband area, it's nine inches. So this will fit perfectly. Um, you see, here we have decreased with the three half double crochet chains. It looks like a pattern. I really like it though. <laughs> had no idea it's gonna turn out like that, but see? Beautiful! <sighs> you can wear this hat in a few different ways. I'll try to take uh, pictures so you guys can see. So this is all for today guys, I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching.